You're listening to Factual America. Thanks so much for making this film. I've, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, maybe you could, uh, for our listeners, I think many may not have seen the film yet, uh, maybe give us a little synopsis of, of what Belushi is all about. Well, Belushi tells the story of the life of the great John Belushi, who was a remarkable figure in American culture and society uh, in the, from the mid 70s to the early uh, 1980s. He died, of course, tragically at the age of 33 um, and uh, from a heroin and cocaine overdose. He was, um, he was a drug addict who couldn't, uh, though he tried very hard, couldn't uh, escape the addiction. Um, at a time when there weren't really the kind of resources uh, or awareness of the dangers of uh, uh, what recreational drug use could mm-hmm. lead to. And, um, um, but but, but uh, he, at the time of his death, or really at the time of his 30th birthday, John was the star of the number one uh, television show on late night uh, television in the United States, Saturday Night Live. He was the star of the most successful uh, Hollywood comedy in history, which was Animal House, and he was the uh, the the lead singer and performer and visionary behind the most successful band with the number one album in the world, which is the Blues Brothers. And I'm not saying that he had already achieved those things. I'm saying that at, at his 30th birthday, all three of those things were true at once, and he was a star uh, of magnitude that we had kind of not seen before, rather remarkable, and yet um, a, 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 a kind of everyman figure who, um, who you would not have expected to have been so extraordinarily successful in so many different fields, and a visionary, really, who, who, who pushed his work in multiple directions. Uh, and uh, so um, most previous treatments of John's life have focused on his death. Very famously, Bob Woodward, the one of the journalists behind the Watergate, yeah. uh, who broke Watergate here, turned his attention to John's death and wrote a book called Wired in the soon after John died. Uh, but that book was a folk was in, almost entirely focused on on the circumstances surrounding John's death, and and it was a rather sensational book. Uh, I wanted to focus on John's life, and I wanted to focus on his work. And um, and though we, um, you know, certainly are a warts and all uh, mm. film that is is uh, as dark as as the telling of the story, I think could be. Um, we we really do focus a tremendous amount of time on what it was that made him special and made him who he was. And through it all, there's this uh, love story with his widowed, uh, uh, well, his, his first, his high school girlfriend, then his fiance, then his wife, and then his widow, Judy Belushi. So, um, so that's, a, that's, you know, uh, a long, short summary. <laughs> Just a little bit longer than a synopsis, but <clears throat> I, think, um, the, I think it's, no, it's perfect. I think you raise a very good point about, um, Celebrating his life sounds like we're at a funeral, but I mean, I think, uh, uh, you know, that, uh, look, I, I make a practice of not watching any interviews that have been done previously, like with yourself, but I did happen to come across one with you and uh, what struck me, I only watched 10 seconds of it, but the guy led in and introduced Belushi as the infamous John Belushi, yeah. which, I, which I thought was quite, I was surprised, I was shocked by that. I mean, I'm of an age when... I mean, when Belushi first hit, I would have been, you know, first, second, third grade, somewhere in there. Yeah. Um, and this guy was, he was iconic. I mean, in, and it was a world yes, of, ca- was. it's a world of catchphrases, which we, I don't think we really do much anymore, but, you know, kids would go around school just. Well, you know, you know he was, he, he, it wasn't just that his performances were iconic or his, or his characters, Blue Dove Lutarski or yeah. uh, um, the, the Blues Brothers. He, you know, there is no Saturday Night Live without John Belushi. Yeah. Uh, John Belushi, uh, before Saturday Night Live, among the things that he did was write and direct the National Lampoon Radio Hour, which was an t- entirely underground, uh, bad boy kind of weekly radio show that was produced by John Belushi and directed <laughs> by John Belushi and written by John Belushi. And guess who it starred? 
uh, Gilda Radner yeah. and Bill Murray and Harold Ramis and Brian Doyle Murray and uh, and a number of other people and and uh, and at the same time John was also starting to work with Dan Aykroyd and had already worked with Chevy Chase and uh, and and then when it came time for Lauren Michaels to assemble the not ready for primetime players he those were the people he, among the people he gathered for his original cast and the one person who he didn't at first gather Lauren was John Belushi, the guy who yeah. would put them all together in the first place. And they all said, my God, we're, there's, there's no point in us coming to you without John. And the, the, the film gets into the, the, the great stories behind how it happened. But, but um, you know, he was, he was much more than just even the iconic performer that he was. Um, uh, how do you say the person described him? Infamous? I, I don't believe there was any infamy whatsoever <laughs> yes. associated with him in any way. But, you know, that's, that's a moralistic judgment of the fact that he died from a drug overdose. Yeah. And that was the problem, I think, with Bob Woodward's book, is right. that it was judgmental. It, was, uh, uh, it, it blamed John and it yeah. blamed American culture and society. Um, and, uh, you know, addiction's a bad thing. Uh, but but to blame the addict is to miss mm. the point, and we know we know that now. We didn't yeah. really know it then. Um, you know, they're 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 we. It's not that we don't pay attention to John's death, but people ask me, well, why isn't there more details? And what about this? And what about this relationship? I'm like, I'm I just I just don't care. You know, we all die. We all die. <laughs> it's like you you yeah. really want to unpack. You can make anybody's death infamous, I guess, because it's, uh, it's, it's, you know, not the awesomest thing when people die. But, um, but the question is, what, how do we live? I mean, yeah. it's a fundamental existential kind of assertion. How do you live? And this guy lived, man, every second of his 33 years and changed <laughs> the world in a way that it, 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 we continue to feel his impact to this day.